General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Yeah. The Reagan Library. Hello. Um, we have our statues here. President Reagan was six one. Mrs. Reagan was five four. And those are an inch and a half taller. Okay. You can take pictures any place in the library. But the flash, no food and beverages. If you have yeah, cell phones, please turn them to cell phone. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Quiet day. You got plenty of time. The whole life. Good. Oh, Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so we have a cafe right out here too. <laughs> office back east it was important to for the Reagans that it be the same size and that's why you have to come down the stairs to get to it because we couldn't build up architecturally we had to go down into the foundation the uh, Hayes desk or the resolute desk is the main feature in the room it was made from the planks of the HMS resolute which was a British ship looking for the Northwest Passage the ship was abandoned in ice found by American whalers and sold to the American government. Uh, they refurbished it and returned it to Queen Victoria. She was so impressed by the gesture that when the ship was decommissioned, the planks were used to build the desk and was given to then President Hayes. The Legwell panel was added by Franklin Delano Roosevelt to camouflage the fact that he required braces in a wheelchair. Uh, the other change to the desk was added by uh, President Reagan. He was six foot two, kept bumping his knees, so he raised the desk to uh, two inches. The, um, it, this is not an original piece. Anything the archival value uh, stays back east, so any subsequent presidents can, can use it. Um, in fact, you can actually buy one of these at the, <laughs> in the gift shop. I think they're about eight, ten thousand dollars Okay. So, in case anybody's interested, I don't know whether that includes shipping. Yeah. yeah. The chair is an original piece. Uh, President Reagan used it during his governorship as well as his uh, presidency. Uh, also the original are the saddles on the two small de mm -hmm. tables over there. That was President Reagan's collection of uh, the evolution of the saddle. 
Um, the portrait above the mantle is of General Washington. Uh, the other portrait is of Andrew Jackson. If you had an appointment with they President Reagan, you'd come in from reception through this door over here. This door went to a small library and study. This door went to the Rose Garden, and that oh. door went to the secretarial pool, and it's a continuation of your tour. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you. Nope. Thank you. Stump the dose and go on. <laughs> Give it a try. Thank you. Communication center, so communication both connected to this board, and you can see there that picture of President Reagan talking to two technicians that were working here. Okay. Now between the two seats, that black case is commonly known as the football. Oh. And that is the instruction to the president in case we have an attack. Okay. Now the, that case follows the president every place he goes, and he has the ballot by a. Uh, by a military aid to him. Okay. okay. Now this, I'm, I'm standing here the small galley. Yeah. This will serve the president and the pilot only. Okay. Now in front of the president office, the one that follows the first lady, what you can see better from the side when you walk over from the hall. And uh, what I want to say, this is the Boeing 707. At the time, this plane came out, was the best. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And then the, seven, the 747 were ordered by President Reagan, but they were not completed until Bush was oh, okay. the president. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they kept using this one up to 2001, mm -hmm. and the last one to fly Bush Jr. Okay. In 2001. Oh, and really? this plane, yeah, because okay. this plane can land on mostly all airports. Yeah, yeah. 747, no. They yes, need of a course. Special, yeah. A okay. big airport, yeah. especially. Yeah. Right. That's what the reason is. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, here you're looking at the communication center. So, communication will connect. Right. You can see the other Hello, sir. First time visiting? Yes, sir. Okay, well, this is the busiest part of the airplane. Uh, you'll, uh, the upper level staff are working away here. There'll be a full time secretary, doc, doc, 
doing the work over here and there'd be another one over here. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Chelander, who was the uh, military aide that carried the football for President okay. Reagan, he uh, sat back here. And the reason we have a mock-up of him is because he donated the uniform that he always wore when he traveled with President Reagan, so we made up a little thing of him here. <coughs> And you, you just came from the area where they yeah. had other meetings. So there was a wall there, but we opened it up. So okay. Take a look right. Where are you visiting from? Uh, Finland. Finland. Yes. Oh, wow. Very good. On a little vacation over here? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Thank you. So here is where guests that would be traveling with okay. the president would sit, and sometimes uh, other staff. The Secret Service would be in the next category. Mm -hmm. They'd have the door closed and locked. But uh, because the the press sat back in, in there, the, okay, in on the, the right hand side, the okay. back, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, have a nice trip to America. Thank you. Uh Coming through. Work, but then I need you. I 
understanding and working with our allies in peace as we have in war. Until such time as Germany can reshape her own destiny, she will be divided into separate zones of occupation, each controlled by an allied power, American, British, French, or Russian. It was known as the Strategic Defense Initiative, SDI, and is one aspect of the President's Peace Through Strength strategy. I felt that if I could get in a room alone with the top Soviet leader, the two of us might be able to reduce the risk of nuclear war. Since Gorbachev had taken office, he and I had quietly exchanged a series of letters that had suggested to me he might be a different sort of Russian than the Soviet leaders we had known before. The nation mourns the passing of a president tonight. Ronald Reagan, surrounded by his family, died at his home in California today after a long and difficult battle. With the pain of Jesus, another step back. President Reagan, stepping forward. The nation, and he did it all. And I am with great humility, with great charm, and with great I bless you, Ronald Reagan. Final letter to the American people. Stand up so well. I now begin the journey that will lead me the sunset of my life. This evening, we know it's the only ship for America's best days for you. He is full of all ways of passing. Some very fine giver of life. He will raise him to perfection in the company of the saints. to this soil which he loved so much and where his body will remain. And what's the great president? The great Here we are in the onset of Alzheimer's disease, my father and I.